Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We're talking about level measurement. Last time a simple method, today very simple method. Okay? We're talking about the dipstick method. I'm sure everybody knows what a dipstick method is. So we have an, a container where we want to have the level. So we make a hole in the top of the container. Yeah? We stick some stick inside, uh, which will reach, I don't know, the bottom or not. Uh, if I put out the stick, uh, pull it out, then we will see where the mark, where the, the, the liquid left its mark. Uh, so there is a mark. On stick indicating the filling. Yeah. You know it from your car probably. Yeah. Check the oil, wipe it off, put it in, put it out, see the mark of the oil level. Okay, I'm running dry again. Or ooh, I overfilled or Everything's all right, all right. Yeah. There's also the possibility to make it like that, yeah, that we make a hole. Yeah. And here we make some reference level. And then that's the stick. Yeah. So this is then some reference level. You have to take care about this. Eh? But actually, this is how this is working. Eh? It's complicated? No. You think it's expensive? Also not, and these are already the benefits of this of this variant. Yeah? It is cheap, it is simple. Yeah? Plus side. Cheap. Cheap and simple. Downside cannot be automated. So for industrial environments, it's not that easy. Yeah? Cannot be automated. Then we have to climb, yeah, climbing. To the top of container. Who tells it's somewhere down? Yeah? You have to climb up there. Yeah? And, well, if this container is under pressure, you cannot use it at all. Yeah? Not for, not suitable for all applications. In example, pressurized. tank. If there is pressure, you cannot just pull the plug out of a pressurized tank. Yeah, dipstick. Yeah, level, level measurement. Very easy approach. Uh, next time, also not too complicated, swimming. Uh, let's swim in a tank. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.